What's up everyone? This is the aerodynamics of a vortex generator. So a vortex generator is exactly that. It's just something that generates vortices and they come in all different shapes and sizes. This is one of them where you have these like three prongs and the flow goes over, then it rolls up. And I want to see how that happens. So as we rotate around, we have streamlines. You see that there is flow going around and it sort of gets segregated by those fins. And then as we rotate more, you'll be able to see these uh, vortices happen. Just here, you can see them rolling up. So the one on the left here that comes down and rolls up one way, the other one rolls up the other way. And that's exactly what happens with vortex generators if you design them this way, where you have counter rotating vortices. The one vortex rotates the other one way, the other one the other way. So you can see here that ramp where the streamlines go over and created those vortices. And now we have a plane going from upstream to downstream, so front to back, We're plotting the vorticity in the x direction, so around the x axis, which is this straight axis here. So as we play, this plane goes over, and you see these vortices starting to roll up. So this is vorticity of one sign, as we mentioned before, vorticity of the other sign. And interestingly, you can see that there's not only just a secondary vortex or second, secondary vorticity, there's tertiary vorticity as well. So what that means is you have initial initial vortex, a primary vortex, that then induces flow in the opposite direction, which will often cause a secondary vortex, at the very least will be secondary vorticity. And then that vorticity then entrains flow near the surface. So this is the, the surface of the, of the ground, and then it goes in the opposite direction. So you not only have this primary vorticity, you have this secondary and then tertiary, which is, um, you don't often see that. And it grows as you go further along. And when you get to the end, that tertiary vorticity kind of dies out a little bit. And already these vortices have expanded, they've dissipated, and they're getting, they're going to be dying out as you go further downstream. So you can see here, they've died out quite a lot. And this is the magnitude of that same plane. So it's showing what the velocity in these vortices are as we go along and they develop. So it starts off fairly high. That's because the streamlines going over this slip, they're accelerating. And then as these vortices get created, there's a low, two low velocity regions and then low velocity regions in that um, area near the boundary layer. And they dissipate as you go further out. So make sure to like and subscribe this, check out everything we do for Premier check out the instrumentation, check out the courses we put on, check out the International Aerodynamics Conference we put on every year. Peace out.